G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. So today it's going to be a Battlegrounds video uh, and it's about obviously the current season uh, which is about mostly science champions. This, this is a season that I've really enjoyed actually. Uh, more of the more of the last two weeks than the first two weeks. Um, but it's really been a great chance to use my favourite science champion in the game which still is Mr. Fantastic. You know, I've got a really, a, a really like Spot for Mr. Fantastic. Um, he was he was in the game for a long time before Spot came, so uh, he's still one of my favourites. Um, and I did actually ascend Mr. Fantastic after exploring the Necropolis, so uh, it's been so fun using Mr. Fantastic this season. He's he's just dominated the whole month, really. Uh, and I've also really um, really enjoyed using Sandman. I, re I really haven't been haven't, haven't used Sandman much um, before this this Battleground season. Um, I didn't really know how to play him super well, but uh, this this meta has really given me the opportunity to use him. So while Mr. So Mr. Fantastic is a rank five ascended champion, uh, in fact I'll show you now. Yeah, so this is how the current Rock Science roster th sits at the moment. Mr. Fantastic, uh, he's one of my one of four rank five uh, science champions. He's the only one that's ascended though. Uh, and then Sandman is just a rank four, but he's still comfortably um, taking these fights even at rank four. So uh, yeah, there's gonna be, most of the fights you'll see today are Mr. Fantastic fights. There'll be a few Sandman fights sprinkled in there as well. Um, just bear in mind, I'm not as good with Sandman as I am with Mr. Fantastic. So um, yeah, hope you enjoy. All right, so guys, the first one we have here, this is, I believe it was a rank one Mangog. So uh, not as uh, strong as Mangogs I normally see. Um, they're normally like rank two or rank five, but still, it's a tough defender sometimes, um, but Mr. Fantastic matches up really well against this guy. So the Petrifiers, they significantly reduce the uh, the passive power gain that Mangog gets, and also the suppression reduces the actual combat power rate. So because of those suppressions and those Petrifiers, we're getting Furies like crazy. You can see we got up to nine there at one point, so we, we can hit fight with like an absolute truck. Um, now, the best way to do this, because this is, this is all, all the fights you'll see are from the week one to two nodes. Uh, which is the buffet um so the region when they when if you're close to them you get they get region or if you're far away that we get region um so you want it you want to actually let them get the region so you can reverse the the region um but, you know that was a minute for a rank four mangog he just oh sorry a rank one mangog he just destroyed that and then here this was a rank two bishop i believe so um, the great thing about Mr. Fantastic in this meta is that he gets his petrifies and his suppressions from a pre-fight. I uh, don't, I can't think of any other science champions that get petrifies and, and suppressions that quickly. Um, you know, Void can get them pretty quickly, uh, Sandman can get them pretty quickly, Photon can get them pretty quickly, Titania can, but absolutely like, like actually when the fight starts, no one else can do that. So Mr. Fantastic is so good for that. Um, so yeah, and we can stack the petrifies as well, and the suppressions. Um, there you can see we he, we get within the region. We got our evade coming in clutch there when he threw the special one. I didn't want him to throw the special one, of course. Um, but we can also use our uh, I can't remember the name of the, the debuff, but um, it actually reduces the the potency of damage over time debuff. So you can see we're actually healing from one incinerate there when we normally wouldn't be. So we um, we waited out that that uh, energy thing until it was gone. Hit him with another special two, and yeah, there's a rank two Bishop Dan in a minute as well. And now we have a rank two Storm Pyramid X, so also a uh, very tanky defender um, at the best of times with her glancing. Um, but those, those uh, the heavy refresh can't glance. Uh, we always refresh the debuffs when we when we um, when we throw a heavy, no matter if it glances or not, uh, unless it unless we're fighting Maestro, I think it doesn't work. Um, but yeah, we're really just using the, um, we, we want to try and use the, the regen reversal to the best of our ability really because our basic attacks won't do too much damage with the glancing. But you can see there, well, we actually, we're still too far away there with our heavy attack pushing her back. Um, so this fight could have definitely gone even quicker had we given her the regen more often than not. Um, because while we can get the regen to heal us up a bit, there also is the chance it gets pilfered. Which is fine for this fight, but against some other champions like Doom or, or more, it can be pretty punishing. But yeah, we, we get really just so many Furies from these fights. Not so many against this Storm, um, but in 
the, the more normal fights you'll see. Where he just stacks up those Furies like crazy. Like I said, this one actually surprised me. So this is a Domino. Really, outside of this season, you're really not going to see a Reed do well against Domino uh, at all. Um, just because of the speed. Like, he can, he can do it fast this season because of the Furies he gets. But outside of this season, no. Nah. Um, but uh, we actually did try to get a few regions in this fight just to mitigate some of the crit fail damage. And we did get lucky there on the first one. So we're, we got up to a full yellow bar again. And um, we, we really... Um, the, the striker is really good for Reed as well. It doesn't really matter what striker you have. The, there really isn't really a great striker for him. Uh, but it's good for just um, being able to land a heavy attack uh, when you normally wouldn't be able to. Because Domino it can be tr sometimes tricky to land a parry against her. Especially if you're unlucky. Or if she has a limber like that. From her lucky. But we gave her the regen there. We reduced, reduced a bit, reversed a bit of the regen there. And um, we get back to another special too, so we did lose a bit of health, but you know, considering it was a domino, it's not, it wasn't too bad finishing on 80%. All right, so now you'll see a Sandman against a domino as well. So this was a this was an undo domino, so um, not as strong as a as an awakened domino. And this one also had um, suicides on as well, so it's not uh, the best showcase. But um, I just wanted to show you guys like what Sandman can do and how he works in this meta. So basically, you want us to just spam the special one. Because the special one, what it does, it applies two petrifies per hit, uh, and also two hits when you activate it. So that's ten petrifies. Each one's only eight percent potency, but you know they stack up, especially if you can chain a couple of special ones together. And um, when we go unstable, when we start knocking her down, we also get that burst damage from our heavies or our specials after knocking her down. Um, so that's the thing I'm still really struggling with with Sandman is just getting those heavy attacks while with the quicksand knocking her down. Um, we've got a couple in here, I think, um, but yeah, it's still a, it's still a bit of his kit that I'm still working on. But that was a rank two domino. It did have suicides, so that definitely helped. But a rank two domino in a minute. But this is definitely a better showcase of, of Sandman and his strengths. So this is against a Doom here. Now Doom is obviously an extremely tanky champion. You know, most champions can't crit against him. Um, you're, so, you know, the best way to get him, get him is really damage over time or in this case is reversing that regen. Um, so the good thing is that Sandman Special 1 it does get you pretty close to the opponent so you can um, activate that regen from being close to them uh, during the special one and it is a long special as well. So here we, we're into the, the unstable now so we can chain a few heavies together now and you can see the burst damage isn't too bad um, and we chain into another special one with a heavy. This is to really stack those petrifies up because we're up to 12 now. They do get pause during special attacks which is great they all they fall off one at a time after that when there's no specials happening uh, here we throw another special um, these petrifies are really stacking up now so they're up to 17 that's going to affect mystic dispersion as well uh, unfortunately got hit by that special uh, incinerate is one of the few immunities he doesn't have um, but we're able to regen a bit from that um, like we got the regen from being far away uh, and we're up to 23 Petrifies now. I should have thrown a heavy there. That would have finished it off. But um, yeah, still pretty quick, I think. All right, so back to Mr. Fantastic. Now, this is a fight that I've done a few times. I've never been able to get it perfect um, because I always get clipped one or two times, whether it's a special one or just a, a, a Mr. Vade or something or an unblockable hit. Uh, it is a really good matchup for him, though. Even outside of this meta, it's actually a really good matchup for him because he, he can reverse the regen that Hulkling gets anyway. Um, the only thing that really uh, hurts him in this matchup is during his special two, because there's so much delay in between hits, he does he is able to get a, a number of the shape shift charges. So there is a chance the special two it does go indestructible, like you see here. Uh, it does activate the indestructible, and he's got a bunch of shape shift charges from that um, because it is a slow special. But as long as we can, you know, just get those those debuffs stacking up, we can start reversing that regen uh, when he's not indestructible at least. Um, but also the unblockable is a bit annoying. Uh, the, but Reed also actually has a really he has extra evade versus unblockable as well, so um, it's not, um, which really helps um, in, in case you mess up and you uh, you miss a you miss a dex. Uh, we we get get to the third stack of our debuffs now, um, and yeah, it wasn't the cleanest fight uh, that I've ever done against this guy, but it was not too bad. All right, so this is another pretty fun matchup for Reed as well so um, the trickiest thing about more obviously is that his first medium is non-contact so 
uh, being a parry heavy sort of champion, Mr. Fantastic, it, it, it does make it a bit tricky for him. Um, and of course, when he when more nullifies his first buff, that turned into a degen. So we, how um, our first buff from that from that fury from the special one did get nullified, unfortunately, that was only a twenty percent chance. But you know, it does happen, uh, unfortunately, sometimes. But I think we are able to regen uh, this time, and that gets us up to almost full health. He does have a careful study now from his special one, so that's going to hit. So it hits for seventy five percent less damage if he does throw again another one, um, which is. Which is a good ability, but it's more of a defensive ability for Mr. Fantastic. It's what makes him an underrated defender, I think. Uh, we get a really nice heavy counter that special one there. Uh, even if we weren't able to uh, get far away from enough, we probably would have evaded that last hit of the special one anyway. Uh, and he throws another special one here. Uh, he's really good at just controlling power in this meta uh, when other champions can't. Alright, so last read fight for this video, we have a rank 2 Mysterio. So rank, Mysterio in this meta is really annoying uh, because because of the extra power gain that these champions get, you know, he's just constantly cycling specials uh, and you, you know, you gotta wait after that special, after those specials. If it's a special 1, you gotta wait for that damage reflect to go away or if it's a special 2, you gotta wait for the miss field to go away. Uh, unless you have an armor breaker, it, it's really annoying <laughs> or if you have someone that can counter miss. Uh, but or if you have someone like Mr. Fantastic who can really control his power and start reversing his regen, it's really nice because um, we can just use that to, to melt him down. You can see that regen is really, um, even at two stacks, it's really got a potent reversal there. Uh, with obviously with max despair as well. So he's throwing a couple of special ones back to back. That's given him two of those careful study debuffs. Those also that's also contributing to the to the regen um, reversal there. We use a striker to stay close to him so the regen comes back on there, and we keep reversing it. So this is this is really the textbook read fight in, in this sort of season. Uh, you just want to is able to just really limit the amount of, champ, of specials these champions are throwing, and you can stack your debuffs up. We I think we might have just just refreshed uh, with the third one there. It was very close to falling off, um, but also those furies are really helping just get that damage in as well pretty quickly. All right, guys, back to Sandman now. So this actually might be my favorite fight of the video because this was a rank five ascended Hyperion. Uh, so this guy can obviously be a real pain in the ass if you don't have someone to control his power gain. Because if he doesn't want to throw those specials, uh, you're dead. You get smacked by a special three or maybe two. But with these petrifiers that Sandman throws uh, and that regen that you can reverse, uh, he does this fight actually really well. Um, it, it's definitely not the best counter by any stretch of the imagination. In fact, Mr. Fantastic would probably do it better. Um, but you know, it was a really good option. It was the best option I had for this for this match. Um, and we're able to really um, get going with these special ones now. We can up to 12 petrifies. And the good thing is that we can, you know, Hyperion, because he does throw a lot of specials, he can pause those petrifies. And then we can comfortably throw a special one here when he has, you know, two, two and a half bars. And he, he's at 18 petrifies. So we're constantly, we're, we're comfortably reversing his passive power gain now as well. Um, you know, he's a minute into the fight. This guy had like 250 at least thousand health, um, but he's basically already dead um, with a combination of those, um, the petrifiers, well, most of the petrifiers just doing their stuff, reversing that region. So yeah, 67 seconds. All right, guys, last fight for today. This is a Hulkling. So we saw Mr. Fantastic vs. Hulkling. Did pretty well. Um, and Sandman does all right as well. So it's really, um, it's the same strategy, really. Well, not the same strategy because we're using different champions, but it's the same idea. We want to get those petrifiers doing the work. Um, and, you know, Sandman doesn't have the uh, suppressions like uh, Mr. Fantastic does, but those petrifiers are really the main thing because not only do they reverse the regen, they also really mitigate the passive power gain that, that Hulkling gets uh, when he gets his, his buffs. Uh, so we're able to throw a couple of heavies there. I could have thrown one more because we, st we were still unstable. With the unstable finishes there, we're only, th we're only through two heavies in there. You really want to throw as many heavies as you can while you're unstable to really build that heavy proficiency um, because each one does do more damage. Uh, but here, we throw a special one. And it's a similar problem to read with this special two because this special one is pretty slow. There's a lot of delay in between hits. So he does get a few of the shapeshift charges in between those hits, which is a pain in the ass. But, um, you know, we can almost bypass that with the, with the heavies and, and the petrifiers afterwards. So yeah, not too bad for a rank four versus I think it was a rank five. There you have it, guys. That's a little bit of a showcase into my two 
really just favorite champions at this is this meta and uh man i wish i'd recorded other fights because these guys have taken so many fights that i didn't even think was possible like uh i know i took a rank three sandman sorry a rank three sasquatch with sandman it's rank four versus a rank three that was in this current meta with buffet uh, and powerful from afar he did that like in 100 seconds which for a rank 4 versus a rank 3 sasquatch with 450,000 health i think that's pretty good um and then there's other there's other matchups like mr fantastic of course can do doom as well um there's other mystics that they can do pretty well uh like dragon man um man thing somewhat well man thing is good for sandman because he's poison immune um kindred a little bit but that's a bit tricky Rintra, of course um and then the other classes defenders as well um but yeah these guys have been insane for me uh, i really love using them as well as joe's Pixar, i just took into rank two as well he's been really good especially this meta um since taking into rank two i've really enjoyed using joe fix it uh for a bunch of for a bunch of fights you know he's pretty quick access to petrify as well uh and then you know i've seen seen other people obviously have huge success with like scorpion photon titania you know the usual suspects but um using sandman especially in this, this meta it's not going to happen every season that's the thing i like about battlegrounds is that you get to use champions that you norm normally wouldn't use um and of course mr fantastic i'm not going to use him on attack most seasons he's mostly going to be a defender um because he's an underrated defender but um i've really enjoyed using him for attack he's definitely been my yeah i'd say my best attacker this season He's, he's carried me all the way to 200 points in the circuit at the moment and hopefully I can keep climbing more so might be I might do a bit of battleground streams before the end of the season I'll see what happens um, but yeah if you guys liked this content you saw today if you guys have a ranked read or Mr. Uh, or Sam in uh, let me know or, or tell me your your battleground MVPs for this season I'd love to hear what you guys have uh, and what's been working for you so um yeah that's gonna do it for me today guys and I uh, hope you see you in the next one peace out <laughs>